Howdy, it's Mr. Pete again, your YouTube shop teacher. Welcome back. And you may have watched the video some time ago where I presented this uh, little Bridgeport model for the first time, made for me by James Ristano in New York. And uh, a lot of people viewed that. I'll put the uh, name of the video right here on the screen below so you can go to that if you want. Maybe the link in the description if I remember. But all of a sudden, out of the clear blue sky, I received another box from James about a month ago. And look what's in the box. So I receive a box about big enough to put a bowling ball in. And then inside of the box, there was a little Dixie cup here. And all wrapped up in paper is a tiny little model in scale of a Kurt Weiss, also by James, and he made nine of the or ten of these, I forgot. This is serial number seven, made in 2020, so thank you so much, James, for this. It is so precision, and again, it's a working model, so you can open and close it, and it's just in perfect scale, whatever scale he used for... Uh, mounting on that little bridge port. This is a two inch ruler and the jaws are approximately five eighths wide. Then he sent me also in the box about an eight page letter describing how to take the bridge port apart such that I can mount this properly. He said, or just forget about that and use some double stick tape. So I haven't done anything yet, but knowing me, I'm going to opt the easy route. But also in this little bag, he gave me some tiny little screws. Some are hex and some are socket. But it looks like it's quite a job to take the bridge port apart. And I hate to fix something that uh, isn't broken. You also may remember that some time ago I started, and an ill-fated attempt it was, at making my own vice, and th this was just a mock-up to get an idea of scale, but that's about as far as I got with it, so forget that. I'll throw this away because this is a beauty, far better than anything that I could do. Again, that's a two-inch ruler. And this is a piece of eighth inch key stock, and I'm using that as a parallel to mount a piece of quarter inch material in there, just as a mock-up, pretending that that would be a workpiece. And it's constructed just like a Kurt. Notice that the screw goes in way below the jaw. I did a video on Kurt vices once. Remember that? Go back and look at that. And there's a pretty worn out buffalo nickel. Indian head nickel. Not sure what you call them. He's quite a craftsman. I don't want to be too presumptuous, but I can only assume that James is working right now on making me a tiny dividing head for this bridge port as well, along with a tail stock and a set of cutters. So, <laughs> thanks again, James, for making this and sending it to me, and thank you for watching. Be sure and watch my 1,000 other shop videos. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. But here it is. It was all bubble wrap, but that's been uh, removed. And notice the double box. Cost $22 to ship it. And it's from James Restano in the great state of New York. Well, when I opened it up, there was a letter in with it, which I'm not going to read to you, giving an explanation. But here it is, a model 
of a Bridgeport milling machine in aluminum. So later that week I called James in New York and we talked I would say for 45 minutes we had a delightful conversation where I thanked him and he told me all about his life and his career and the things that he did and he worked for many years as an aircraft specialist working on landing gear of large airplanes and some of it uh, was for the major airlines so he had an interesting life and he has a nice home shop probably far better equipped than mine and he made eight of these in all this is number seven he's a lot younger than me perhaps ten years but he was a little bit discouraged by what people would say when he uh, would show him his, uh, show them the models and I've experienced this too and I bet you have too where people would say oh that's nice How's your golf game? Or, you got way too much time on your hands. And he even said that someone remarked, what is that? A telescope or a microscope? You know, so it was discouraging. This way, I told him that thousands of people will see this and be able to appreciate it and uh, the, the work and the skill involved. 